Gonna do an oil change on this Lincoln. Got some 020 oil here. Definitely want to get the car up to operating temperature. You know, let's take it for a decent ride, get it warmed up. And then I'll usually let it sit for like an hour to kind of cool off just a little bit and let all the oil drain down back to the pan. So, got the car jacked up. Got my jack stand. Got the uh, filters on the driver's side. Of course, I got my filter Maggie on there. Got the drain plug right here. So drain plug size of 5 eighths. I like to take that fill cap off. It helps the oil drain out a little bit faster. All right, so while that's draining, I'm just gonna pull that filter mag off of here and then uh, get that filter out of there. You can kind of sneak this tool in there. It's kind of tight, but you can make it happen. While all the oil is draining out, I like to prime the filter with some oil. So I'm just gonna throw this uh, funnel on there and uh, get some oil up in this filter. So usually what I'll do, I'll get the funnel in there, fill it to the top, and then just give it some time to soak into the filter media. And then I'll do that one more time, just fill it to the top and let that oil soak into the pleats in the filter. Should be good to go. That filter's got to go on sideways, so can't really get it filled to the brim. See the oil level's gone down, so I'm going to fill it to the top one more time and be ready to go. So, in owner's manual, Shows that with the filter change, you need 6.5 quarts. So I've got five quarts right here. That's six. Now I'll have to use a half of this. This will be six and a half. All right, so the oil levels settled down. Just want to get a little bit of fresh oil on that gasket. And this filter is ready to go back on. Just have to clean up uh, where it mounts onto the engine. Got the filter back on there, got the filter mag on there. I'm ready to put the drain plug in and start filling it with oil. Got the drain plug back in there. Got the car back on the ground. Ready to fill it up with oil. All done filling it up. It's my half quart. Ready to put the cap on and uh, start it up. All right, gotta unplug my battery maintainer.
Now I'll reset the computer. Just push the status button. Hold down the reset. Hold down the reset again. And that resets it to 100. All right, so just checking the battery monitor. You can see we're not completely filled up yet. So it's gonna need more time on that battery maintainer, but definitely doing a lot better. So that's fine. I'm sure the next time I leave the maintainer on there overnight, it'll fully charge the battery. So we'll be good to go. Alright, so the last thing you want to do is kind of get under here, make sure it's not leaking, it's like we're all good. So then, uh, like tonight, when I get the car parked in the garage, I'm going to pop the hood, I'm going to take this cap off so it can ventilate all night. This engine's kind of weird about checking the dipstick, so I like to let it sit overnight, and then like I said, I'll pull that cap off so you know that oil can get completely down so it's not airlocked or anything which probably sounds goofy but it's just the way I like to do it this engine can be kind of finicky about checking the oil level so tomorrow morning I'll come out and check the oil level make sure everything's good but that's usually the way I like to check oil on this car just seems like you really have to let it sit overnight to get an accurate reading on it 